Uh, my name is Fatma Kabi. I'm 22 years old. I carry the title of the UAE's youngest inventor. I received this title in 2015 from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, after receiving the UAE Pioneers Medal. I have 12 inventions that tackle different problems around my community, including the teleporter, a robot that attends school for sick children, and a smart steering system that prevents texting while driving. Now you're here as part of Emirati Women's Day. I first of all want to ask you, given all that you've achieved in your life, what is the significance of a day like Emirati Women's Day for you personally? Emirati Women's Day for me is not just a day to celebrate in the UAE. I think it's a day that shows the world all the achievement that the Emirati women and the UAE government has achieved so far in, in progressing women's rights and providing uh, an opportunity and space for women to thrive in their different industries. Emirati Women's Day is every day for women in the UAE and I think it's more of a celebration for us to show the world what we've achieved than you know, an internal celebration amongst ourselves um, to try to open up more doors or anything like that. I think we're, we're constantly celebrating women here. It's just a day to, to highlight all of that to the world. Um, so Fatima, for Emirati Women's Day, we have asked you know, the select women that we have had on this particular initiative to take us to a location that means uh, something to them, uh, something special to them. So yeah, my question to you is, where are we going today and why is that location special to you? I've chosen the Museum of the Future because I think it's a representation of the country's faith in, in its youth and, its, in its, and in its people to create the future. It's a great way that combines technology and science and art and shows that no matter what our industry is, we are part of creating the future of the UAE. You know, you talked about like going to the Museum of the Future, but I also want to highlight the vehicle we are using to get there. Um, and you chose the Infinity QX50. Um, is there a particular reason why you chose this particular car? I thought it was very classy and simple. The, uh, and, and that's the vibe that I'm going for personally and it fits my needs and still looks cheek so i thought i thought it would be perfect for me it looks like it has, it's small but it packs a punch yes yeah that's exactly <laughs> what i'm going for <laughs> that's good that's good uh, talking about again you know the uae and what it has done for its women so far and it continues to do so in the years to come what role do you think the uae has played in your particular journey in your uh, success in what you're choosing to do so far and what you will hope to do in the future as well. What's the role the UAE has played in that department? The UAE has played a very big role in, in my bringing up and in, in so, everything that I've achieved so far. Uh, it's been part of my childhood, my education, uh, my inventions and, and all the different hobbies I've, I've pursued. I've never felt limited. Mm. Uh, if anything, the times that I felt that I didn't know what to do. I, there was people that I could reach out to. There were resources and initiatives that I could lean on to learn the skills that I wanted to learn and the things I wanted to achieve, to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Um, in the future, I see myself being part of, of continuing this vision of the UAE, contributing to teaching other generations to come about technology and science and the work that I was able to start. And I will always be grateful for the government of the UAE and, and the women of the UAE who have paved the way for myself and, and other Emirati women to to be where we are today and to achieve what we've achieved. You know, we've talked about you know the UAE uh, playing an important role in your uh, dreams, in your in the realization of the dreams and the success that you've had so far. Uh, for those women out there, for the young girls, for the young women of any age really, not just the uh, people who are uh, in their youth, there are many out there who look at you as a role model, who want to follow in your footsteps. Is there any advice, any message that you would give them in terms of them following their dreams, chasing their goals? The best piece of advice I would give is to give the thing that you want to pursue a shot and to trust yourself. I think taking the first step to pursue what you want is the most difficult. And all of us want to do it perfectly, right? We want to be the best artists and musicians and inventors we could be. But I didn't start with being a perfect inventor until later on in my career. So I always tell girls to just give it a shot. You don't have to invent the, invent the best thing or create the most musical, the best musical symphony or whatever it is. 
um, just you know read an article, reach out to a woman who's already been doing it, uh, watch a video, and then uh, you know give it a shot, try it once or twice, see if it's, it's something that you like or something you, that you don't like, and, and trust trust the process and trust yourself. Uh, believe me, over time you'll pick up the skills that you need and you'll achieve what you want to achieve. I think that's probably the best message we can close this conversation with is to just trust the process and trust yourself as well. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Thank, Thank you so much, Fatima, for uh, being with welcome. us. You're welcome. Thank you.